No matter how easy or luxurious life may be made, it still brings in its wake inevitable hardship and stroll. We must recognize that under duress great things are born. Diamonds form in molten rock. The sweetest flowers of man's spirit have often been watered by tears. To struggle gives strength. To endure breeds a greater capacity for endurance. We must not run away from our heartbreaks in life. We must go through them, however fiery they may be, and bring with us out of the fire a stronger character, a deeper reliance on ourselves and on the Creator. Love, hate, passion, fear, sorrow, pain. They act on us and spur us on. They develop our qualities and give us color and individuality. Why should we want to shun and abolish that which brings out the best in us, that tempers our steel, that teaches us to value happiness at its true worth? We're not expected to like suffering. But we should when the cup is at our lips and we have no choice but to drink it. Drink it down strongly, courageously, knowing it will hurt, but strengthen, wound, but eventually heal. We must also accept the fact that there are some things in this life we are not going to be able to understand here and now. They are mysteries either too profound or denied us to comprehend in this world. But it is given to us to understand certain things. God, with all that term implies, cannot be unjust any more than he can be unloving. Nothing could be more unjust or unkind than to set a man an impossible task, to require of him something beyond his strength to do. The trials that come to us in life come to test our strength and to exercise and perfect it. We are not set tasks that we cannot accomplish. We are not tyrannized over by God. He sets the hurdle a little higher because he knows we are now ready to make that jump if we try. And what's more, he will help us. The friend of the soul of man is there and he wants us to win, to grow strong to be worthy of the heritage he has prepared for us. He is therefore ready to lend a helping hand if we call him. If we fling out ours towards his, he will grasp it firmly.